Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the two for one packs because they were in the code. Basically, what you guys should be expecting, what to invest in when we do get them, what's coming this week. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We are on the road to 1.3k. I've been streaming live on Twitch every single day, so the link for that will be in the description down below. Doing some live trading. We played foot champs this weekend. Um, we finished gold two, not the best weekend. I wanted to finish gold one, but somehow we just kept on losing i probably shouldn't have lost like half the games i did but i did um and yeah if you guys are new make sure to subscribe follow twitter and discord will be also be in the description down below but let's get into the video we actually sold 16 things um i just want to check this out really quickly so today on the stream we picked up a lot of cards because a lot of things were cheap so we got the guaranteed what of player that was an 85 rated squad and that caused a little bit of panic on the market as you can see we picked up these cards at very very nice prices we got this card at 80k or 79k we got him at 70 we picked him up at like 93 before his game hoping he would get a clean sheet uh so we lost like 3k um on him i think we have another one as well but i'm not too worried about that i, I was just gambling with them honestly but we got all these prayers at 70k, sold at like 82. Then we got this guy at 73k, I believe. And then we picked up fodder because it just kept on rising. We picked all these around 7 to 10k below what I sold them for. And we just got a lot of fodder. We got a lot of lazy sells on these cards. That's kind of what I've been doing today on stream. If you guys have never been over there, the link for that will be in the description. I stream right when content drops, so make sure to check that out. If you guys want to be picking up cards with me um and yeah that's kind of it i still have this aguero to sell but i'll relist them later anyways i wanted to talk about the two for one 100k packs or two for one any packs 50k packs 100ks and kind of just go over what's gonna happen so basically we got these 50k packs right we didn't get lightning rounds today therefore the market went up because we didn't get pack supply fodder went up everything went up except what ifs they did go down because their spc came out but basically what happens when we get those 100k 125k 50k lightning rounds that are two for one what's gonna happen is number one there's definitely gonna be an spc out okay so i'm thinking we could get it friday they could drop it tomorrow i don't see it happening i i don't see it happening but they could drop it tomorrow they could drop it any day this week but i see it happening friday and the reason why is because we could be getting a new promo friday because where is it if we go over the players are only in packs until wednesday so we could get a new promo friday and they could do two for 100k packs on friday that's when you guys get in and i did want to mention this spc really quickly the mid or prime and just the mid icon because the mid icon expired today right and we got these 83 pluses and 81 pluses um and then if we go all the way to the end i don't know if i can find it but um if i go to live it should be in here but the player pick the prime icon player pick should be expiring this week sometime um and for me that kind of just tells me we're either going to get a another player pick pack or we're going to get a prime icon spc i think we'll get one of the two this week we could get both um but i definitely think we're going to get a prime icon spc i don't see why we wouldn't um we might get a couple more icons on thursday or friday just to boost up fodder because there's not really any SBCs other than this one that requires fodder. Player of the Month Messi, yes. But no huge icon SBCs like normal. This guaranteed player um, is in here for six days. So I think that expires Friday. Um, and I really do think we're going to get a new promo Friday. Uh, not sure what it is yet, but I do think we're going to. And during these 2 for 100k packs, if they do come out... I want to take you guys over to Footbin, kind of what to look at, right? If, this is only if we have SPCs out, right? Fodder is very, very inflated right now, okay? 88s are 52k. They were literally like 60k earlier today. They are back down. Um, 89s are back down. 
87s are back down. So these players are back down a little bit, but um, that's kind of just having to do with the mid icon not being out. Um, but other than that, if you guys do want to invest in fodder, make sure to get on bids, right? Not just sniping. I can't stress that enough that getting on bids is the easiest money. I got a Modric at 21k. I got Dybala at like 30k. I got um, a Benzema at 55. I think I got a Neuer 60 when he was selling for closer to 80. And as you can see, he's 67k right now. We sold him at 82 um, earlier today. That's just the price of fodder. Fodder fluctuates so much, and I can't stress it enough. It's so fun and so easy to trade with. Um, yes, it can be hard to trade with, but you guys just got to get familiar with the fluctuations because when packs come out, that's when you buy no matter what. That like that like That's what I'm going to tell you. Get on bids. Wait until 10, like 10, 10 a.m. is when it comes out for me. But 6 p.m. UK, wait until that 7 p.m. Get on bids for like 30 minutes. Or you could snipe for the first 10 minutes and then you get on bids. But getting on bids and winning these cards like 5k under their price is very, very good. Then you can sell 5k above what they were going for. Make 10k on a card, right? Not just that, but trading with these what ifs are doing very well. The small got a clean sheet. So he's skyrocketing. He was under 500 earlier this week. If we go look at him, um, this Yuri did crash a little bit because he didn't get a clean sheet and honestly now is the time to buy i do think he could go down a little bit more but i do think now is the honestly it's getting close to a buy time for him because he was kind of just chilling around 90k this entire week and he's out of packs so that's not a bad investment either um as always the varans the contes the mbappe's neymar's ronaldo those have gone down the messi is 215 uh that's crazy a lot of these cards have gone down today because we did get that guaranteed what if. Um, if we go back onto FIFA and Squad Builder, where is it? We, we got a Joe Hart. We got a Mal Malkite. Malkoit? I don't know how to say it. We got a Messi. Um, and we did get a Joe Hart right here. Butter is also going down because we have these upgrade packs. Like people are doing these instead of going... To actually buy fodder i don't think i can do one of these or else i would i did a couple of them actually i did a decent amount of them on stream today uh but we didn't really get anything so i'm not showing you guys if we got something i would definitely show you um but that's kind of just what i'm looking at on the market i know for a fact that these uh, these fodder cards right if we okay i just can't spell his name but like how much is Benzema right now He's 68k right now. Like, we were selling this card at 80k earlier today, um, right when the 85 plus came out. Um, and that's kind of just the buy time. And right now, I mean, that's the sell time. But right now is looking like a buy time. Um, I'm not going to buy because we didn't get any supply. So that's kind of scary. Um, but once we do get that supply, once we do get those two for one 100ks, that's when I'm gonna get on these cards, okay? I'm I have around like 750k because I have been spending my coins on SBCs and icon packs. But did I just clear the name? Yeah, I did. But wait, but come Friday, I'll probably have around a mil, hopefully. Um, and then I'm definitely just gonna get on these bids, right? So this bins them at 64k. I'm going to bid on that because I could probably sell them at 72k on a lazy. Um, but I can't stress it enough. Get on bids. It's the easiest profit because when 6 p.m. comes, it's just sniping, right? There's no bids earlier. So you guys want to be sniping as soon as that comes out. And then 7 p.m. comes, we're getting more lightning rounds, right? Everyone's going to be sniping for the new lightning rounds and you are going to be bidding, okay? Yes, you could argue that you could get like an insane snipe, a 20k undercut snipe, or a 100k undercut snipe on a like huge player. Or you could just be sitting there sniping an icon, right? But the the likelihood of you actually sniping an icon 100k cheaper than what they're going for is very unlikely. But the likely, the, like, 
I could win this guy at 60k like that. And in, the, in previous videos, I've showed you that I've won Canes, I've won Benzema's like 10k under their price and sold for 10 to 15k profit on each card. It's very simple. And that's kind of what I'm going to look at during these two for one 100k packs. If we get them, they are in the code. Uh, Footwatch tweeted a pack image, so they have their own image. Um, I'm going to be looking at it this week. We could get it tomorrow, but I definitely think we're going to get it Friday. And I do think we're going to get some prime icon, maybe a prime player pick this week. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I've also been posting on TikTok, so I don't even know if I can even link that. But if I can, that will be in the description uh, as well as my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.